Chapter 2, Consumer Choice Theory. So what is total utility? Total utility is the total satisfaction a person receives from consuming a particular quantity of a good. And the second one is the law of diminishing marginal utility. So this is the principle that extra satisfaction of a good or service declines as people consume more in a given period. For example, just like what the video portray, the three girls eat the same taste of potato chips every time. They slowly get tired of it. Once the more specific product consumer obtains, the lower desire of the product. Hence, when total utility increase, marginal utility will decrease. Total utility can be maximized when it fulfills two conditions. Firstly, the marginal utility per price of good A must be equal to marginal utility per price of good B and equal to marginal utility per price of good C. And at this point, it is called the consumer equilibrium point, in which the total utility cannot increase by spending more of a given budget on one good and spending less on another good. For example, in the video, the three students use up their whole budget, which is 15 ringgit, to order their lunch. In order to spend the entire budget, they decided to buy two Maggi Gorings, three Roti Chanais, and two Teh Tarais. The Maggi Goreng cost four ringgit each, while the Roti Chanai cost one ringgit each, and the Teh Tarais cost two ringgit each and they believe this is the perfect combination for them. There are two alternative explanations for law of demand. One of the alternatives is income effect. Income effect is the change in quantity demanded of a good or service caused by a change in real income or known as the purchasing power. When price of good X falls, the real income of consumers increases. Real purchasing power of consumers also increases. So, quantity of good X demanded will increase too. As shown in the video, the three students saw a hot sales banner in Watson's while they are shopping. The price of the body wash in Watson's is cheaper than the normal price sold in other places. Since their purchasing power is higher, 
they can demand in large quantity. So they decided to buy the body wash in large quantity as they can save up a lot of money. What is the substitution effect? Well, the substitution effect is the change in quantity demanded of a good or service caused by the change in its price relative to substitutes. So, what does the substitution effect show? Just like our video where Xue En was deciding which BB powder she should buy, she compared Silky Girl and Kiss Me. Silky Girl's BB powder showed it is 16 ringgit while Kiss Me BB powder is 41 ringgit. So, Isabel and Xue En compared the price and its quality. They both felt that Silky Girl is much more cheaper than Kiss Me and the quality is also better as it offers all in one. In the end, Xue En decides to buy Silky Girl's BB powder. Therefore, in the future, Xue En might buy more Silky Girl's product because of its quality and lower prices compared to others. Oh, every time I see you, 그대 눈을 볼 때면 자꾸 가슴이 또 설레어와 내 운명이죠 세상 끝이라도 지켜주고 싶은 단한 사랑. Baby. Just like that, I'm.